Josie, uh, just in relation to that game there tonight, um, once you, your wing backs, once they counter attack, they got caught up the field once or twice in terms of transition for Everton's two goals. Were you a bit disappointed in relation to that there in, in terms of the space out wide Everton had to attack? The penalty, I cannot share your view because the penalty was not even a penalty. So I, there is no point in commenting that the second goal, in spite of being on the opposite side of, uh, of my bench, maybe I'm wrong, but I have the feeling that a fresh Coleman got behind our... Um, our wing back uh, made the cross and the uh, Sigurdsson come from midfield and appear in a in a second line with a brilliant uh, finishing that's my view from from the bench hello Jose Michael Oliver that's eight penalties is given against Jose Mourinho's side, seven in the Premier League, one in an FA Cup final. Um, it looked like a soft penalty, didn't it? And, and your players didn't seem to make a lot of it in terms of protesting. But is it a worry that this referee has given so many penalties against your team? I think uh, not to protest. I think should be something uh, to praise and not something to... Um, to consider a negative uh, thing, at least is uh, what we have in in every meeting uh, with uh, with the football authorities before season start, even before matches, when the captain and one coach has to go to the to the referees meeting. Um, don't surround the referee. Um, let the referee alone. Let the referee make uh, the decision. In the top of that, I think we all start having a feeling of what uh, VAR is and I think it's very very difficult for VAR to go against a referee decision I believe that they don't like to expose uh, each other I believe that uh, in the maximum they like to tell the referee come on uh, come and give a look but I don't think they like to go against so when Mr. Oliver uh, went with such a with such a high speed to the to the penalty spot, I don't think there is any point in in complaining too much. Hi, uh, Jose. Harry Kane obviously scored two goals today, but he came off injured at the end. Can you give an update on his condition? I don't. I don't know much. I don't have much to say. I don't want to. To feed any speculation, I don't want to be stupidly optimistic of saying nothing, something. Uh, that something is going to stop him to play the next match uh, or the final. I don't know. In this moment, I don't know. I don't think even, even he knows. So I believe that tomorrow we will see uh, a reaction. He will be taken to more details. Uh, diagnosis and then probably in the um, press conference before um, Southampton we have a press conference uh, Tuesday right mm -hmm. so I, I believe that Tuesday is the right moment to inform you about Harry okay. Jose sorry can, can I just confirm is he um, is Harry on crutches or will he will he have a scan tomorrow or can you give us any kind of detail like that, please? I don't, I don't think it's crutches, but I don't know because I left the dressing room a few minutes after the players uh, arrived. Just to say a quick uh, hello to them, and I I left to press. So honestly, I I don't know. But if he does that, his precaution is uh, his safety. I don't know. I don't know really. Okay. Thank you. 
Jack can finish your draw. Jack first. Hi, Jose. Um, di different team today, different formation. Do you feel like the players are responding well to your changes? I think it's not about the changes. It's not about the system. It's a system that uh, we played before. It's a system that many teams uh, they play. It's a system that you could feel that Everton, even defending on on a four four two, uh, they were building with three and two and two wing backs. Um, I don't think it's about um, the system, but I believe that independent of the result, which is a result that is not bad, is not good. The team was um, was positive in many in many aspects of um, of the game. We were perfect. No, uh, we were bad. Also, no. Okay, this is Last question. Hey, Jose. Um, Carlos Vinicius wasn't in the squad today. Is he injured, or was that a tactical decision to leave him out? Yeah, it was a decision. We were playing with. Uh, with two strikers, Sonny and uh, and Kane, uh, both in mobility, both uh, technical players. We had uh, Dele, we had um, Garrett Bale, we had eventually even Lucas to come in this uh, one of these two positions of uh, of mobility, and we decided to leave um, Carlos um, out, but not, not injured. The only two players injured before this game was Doherty and. Uh, and uh, Ben Davis, and now, of course, Harry is the third one, and let's see Harry. Okay, that'll do. Thank you very much. Thank you.